here's the deal. As much as I want to talk about like the truth, which is the cold, hard truth, is that if we're going to go to the next level, it's going to require a couple of things. Number one, more talented sales managers, more talented sales teams, more talented general managers. I've got to get better. The owner's got to get better. The, the women here got to get, we all got to get better. Because we have it in us, there's more potential there. The only thing that I, like, that I can imagine in life that would be awful is dying without playing all my potential. That would be awful. You got a lot in you. Ryan, you're just like, you got so much, it's insane. I'd try to piss Ryan off all day long, didn't I? How many times? Probably, probably 10 times I tried to piss him off today, right? You know, because if you can make Ryan mad, it's over. Ryan will triple his sales. Okay, I was poking at him all day long. But I'm going to say something, Jeff, with you guys, you're doing a great job. I see your sales team's on fire, man. When I came in, we walked in, everybody's like, yeah, here we are. Yeah, we're ready to go. Guys, we got to stay on high all the time, every day. Wives, my women that are here that are supporting the men and the husbands that are supporting the wives, listen to me. Guys, so you guys can all understand this. We work in sales. Everybody here is 100% a sales organization. Am I correct? Okay, we're all 100%. We're, you're, we're all in sales, okay? So you need to understand the way sales operate. People buy when they're in a good mood, when they're in a good state. They feel like buying, it's called their buying state. We as salespeople, we have to stay in a buying state at all times. It's important for us. We have to stay fired up. We have to stay jacked up. It seems like we're on something, we're not. We understand that we have to stay at this state so that when somebody crosses our path, number one, it's infectious to them so that as a leader, they want to go do great. Our other salespeople and our customers want to buy from us. Hey guys, what's up? It's Andy. Hey, I want to stop the video real quick and show you. I just released my brand new book called The Book of Deadly Scripts. You want to know how to overcome any objection in the world? You want to know how to literally pick up the phone and every single time you do, create a hot end market buyer who wants to buy a vehicle? Do me a favor, shoot me a text right now, 918-210-0254. I don't have this book for sale on the website. If you'll shoot me a text, I'll send you the link so you can buy it. Let's crush it and kill it. This book will change your life. It just got released. Let's get back to the video. We have to stay like this all day long. I literally run like this all day because it's provided a, a, a level of success that's just insane. The twins know it. Okay, we don't wake up and we're like, man, let's just get crazy today. No, we have to get crazy. We have to get jacked up because that's what creates momentum and it creates the next level. So a lot of the times when people are like, man, that guy's energy is crazy. Listen to me, you want to win in life at a really high level? You want it? You better pick it up because we are in a 100% sales organization. Women and men, you got to encourage each other to stay on high. Okay, we don't have time for bad days. Look, dude, you know what bad days are? Test days. Everybody say test days, test days. You know what a test day is? A test day is when you don't feel like it, your heart's not in it, but your mind says, I don't give a shit. I gotta do it anyways today. Okay, my heart ain't in it. I don't wanna go to the gym. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you don't wanna do that. Now get your ass out of bed. And those days when you do what you don't wanna do, you grow. You create character. Every time you see a customer pull on the lot and you're like, I don't want to get up. You better get your ass up. Because the second you don't get up, guess what? You just got beat. You just got beat. And there's something inside of you called character that starts to know when you're a fraud. And the last thing I want to do is be a fraud. Okay? Okay? Because Winnie won't recognize you. It will flee from you. And I promise you, karma will come into your company. Every single time that you guys get a test day, take it on, man. And by the way, identify it. I talked about it in that, in that training, identify it. Be like, oh, that's a test day right there. You kidding me? I don't want to get up today. I got a headache. I don't feel good. All right. Yeah, I'm getting up today. Matter of fact, you know what? I'm gonna have 10 times more energy today, okay? I'll rest when I say it's time to rest. Not now, not when I feel down. No, I'm gonna go to war today, okay? And when you do at the end of that day, you will feel something inside of your body that says, man, you're bad. Yeah, you're a real leader. You deserve the life that you're after. You deserve it, so I'm gonna give it to you. 
How many of you guys know what I'm talking about? You guys know what I'm talking about? How many of you guys know on these opportunities, these great opportunities that you've had and you, you missed them? You decide to say, ah, oh, man, you know what? I'm tired. Dude, we don't ever say tired. You know what I'm saying? Are you kidding me? What does that even mean? You know what I'm saying? You know what's exhausting? Not having this. Could you guys imagine? Think about it for a minute. Could you guys imagine not having this company? I mean, could you imagine it? I've worked for other stores. I mean, could you imagine working for an owner that don't give a shit about you? Could you just imagine what that would be like? Guys, you should be fighting right now to show that like, you're so grateful for this job. You're so grateful for this life. Man, untap, uncut the leash, okay? Let's quit caring what other people think. Guys, these other car dealerships are dog shit. I honestly will tell you, I, I mean, we have no competition. There is none. They suck. I, I just got back from a group. It was freaking embarrassing. These guys can't even tie their shoes and they're counting more money and they know what to do with. With staff. You guys have the best team in the world. You guys have got to realize that, look, what you did these last 30 days, did we do better than the last 30 days? Yes. So how are we going to get to this, to this, to this April? What are we going to do in April? Okay. We got what, two, three days to finish, but what are we going to do in April? You going to do more than you did in March? You got it in you? You sure? Ryan, you got it in you? You know, let me ask you a question, right? Right? Like Dominic, who's going to finish number one in the group? Which three of you guys? Well, no, no. Why don't you let them answer? Why are you trying to fight your manager's battles? Hold on. Dominic, who's going to, who's going to finish number one? Who's gonna finish number one, Jeff? Ryan, who's gonna finish number one? I'm gonna tell you this, you guys, hold on. Hold on, listen to me. Everybody, everybody listen to me. You know who's gonna win? The GM that can build the best team. Listen to me, I know, I, I know. Somebody's gonna text me later and be like, you my fire. I can't believe you said that. Thought we were boys, dog. You know what I'm saying? Dominic's going to be, hey, but Dominic, here's the deal. If you lose, it's cool. Somebody outworked you. Somebody trained an extra hour. Somebody gave a little bit more on a TO. Somebody stayed a little later. That's just it. Okay, somebody had a better attitude, right? Somebody got on social media. Hold on, I know. Somebody called their customer base. Somebody didn't, okay? Here's my goal. Who has the courage to really go to the next level. All three of you men standing in here, all of you, I call you out, and I think you're 10 times better than you are right now. I think you haven't even started. I'm being honest. If I had to rate you from one to 10, I think you're a two to your 10. Now you might be a 10, right? Just care compared to somebody else, but your potential, dude, you're just starting to realize it. You played small for a long time, and now you're starting to realize, you know what? You might just have to get nasty right now because nobody out there is trying to win. So you might have to go play the Super Bowl. Okay, Dominic, same thing with you, right? You're committed to this company. Like, I can't even explain your loyalty, right? But dude, you have so much in you, it's freaking insane. What are you going to do with your managers? How, how great are you going to train them? How great are your managers going to train your sales team? Your manager is going to be so great that like they can, they're unbeatable. Your manager is going to be involved in every deal all day long, every second. Listen, you get what you tolerate, Ryan. You get what you tolerate. Look around. Have a talk with your teams tonight and tomorrow morning. Okay, April's coming. April's coming.